Today, my friend, we put an end to Lord Gortash's tyranny over Baldur's Gate in our very evil playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Now, Lord Gortash controls the Steel Watchers of Baldur's Gate, and they are a formidable foe. So we'll probably need to take them out before we deal with Lord Gortash himself and infiltrate his giant castle here in Baldur's Gate. And once again, guys, thank you so much for the support on these episodes and welcome all the new members we have on the channel. Thanks for the likes and support on this series. As we near the end, I'm already thinking about the next playthrough. But now we must battle Lord Gortash. So here we are at the Basilisk Gate on the map. What is this guy doing? Fist Murphy is practicing standing on one leg, apparently. I need to ask this guy what's wrong with him. Don't distract me. It's all I can do to stay balanced. He's not moving a single millimeter. Impressive. I stole a purse from the evidence room. It was stupid. And I swore to Blaze Portier I'd never do it again. Ever. I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. Pretend to push. <laughs> That's not funny. If I fall, I have to start all over. <laughs> All right, let's head back through the gates to the castle then. Here we can obtain Gortash's Netherstone. Let's cross the drawbridge. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Very well, I shall. Wherever the audience chamber is. All right, let's head on inside. How many greeting robots does he have? Oh, wow. And a lot of still watchers. A heck of a red carpet, too. Not many nobles got invited, though. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Point taken. I'll keep things peaceful then. The Steel Watch. Appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. Crawling back from his bloody disgrace. It's my favorite assassin. Gods, you're a sight for sore eyes. Orin told me she made a fool of you. And I should have known you wouldn't go down that easy. I like your tone, but humor me. I have amnesia. Then she didn't buy. The past is lost to you. Let me clear up some mysteries, then. We share so much history. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the failures of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First, we obtained the crown. Then we enslaved the brain. From there... It was but a small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. What was my role in this plan? Oh, ask the Emperor if he's telling the truth. It seems so. Really? In Baal's name, you set your bloody daggers to cause panic in the streets. Killing in the Absolute's name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going so well until you vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak for the Temple of Baal and act on their behalf. But she, she made a mess of things. Unlike you, she cannot control herself. I also can't control myself, to be fair. I don't remember a thing, but the plan sounds brilliant. We are brilliant. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before because of discord among ourselves. Oh, now you've returned, we can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Netherstone. 
You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The Quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the Crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the Grand Design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, a bleak prospect. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. But you literally put this plan in action. You're the fault we're here in the first place. Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Oh, boy. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Let's ask him what kind of partnership he has in mind. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick felled, Orin proves treacherous. She craves the Netherstones for her own, desperate to impress Baal. She only cares for blood, and your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Not afraid of her. Her assassins hunt you even now. They are very they efficient killers. Even someone with your talents should take heed. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't <laughs> let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. So I turn to the Scion of Baal. You are his dear prince. He created you to rule. You show proper respect. Good. He's also very manipulative. I don't really know or believe half of what he says being true or not. It's gonna take a lot more to make me trust you. Let's make our pact anew. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. While it stands. Thorn's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Yeah, I don't buy it for a Together, second. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. The urge, the deplorably brutal urge sickens within you. When you level the world over, that dead world must be yours alone. Yeah. first you will rule, then you will ruin. <laughs> what do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Paladin. Very well. I pledge my solemn oath as an oathbreaker. I feel like this option just shouldn't be there for an oathbreaker paladin. Examine Gortash's body language and expressions. Can you trust him? 15. Oh my god. We're lucky. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. For now, Orin betrayed me before and you did nothing to help me then. What has changed? He doesn't have a choice anymore. We would not meddle in each other's affairs. This was our agreement. She came to us as Baal's chosen. We are but servants to our lords. Your presence here means your lord sees a purpose for you yet. I tolerated Orin, but I liked you. I seem to have trusted you once and it ruined me. I'm not about to repeat that mistake. I am not Orin. 
I know the value of alliance. Bane teaches his followers to reward those who support his chosen, not to betray them. You and I always knew we could only stand against the world united. Orin's blind ambition failed us. She compromised you just when success seemed certain. Kethrid, his obsession with his daughter made him lose all hold on reason. They floundered, even as they tried to rise above us. We will not, cannot, make that mistake if we come together in trust. He's very wise. I'll think about it. No promises. We need to save Minthara first. They're probably going to have to kill her. But not here, with all these still guards around us. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Everyone needs Who, to die then. I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. The faceless in my camp was Orin herself. He took someone. I need to find her. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. The Baal Temple, your old haunt, now reeks of her icors. Hmm. Do you even remember how to find it? No. <laughs> a shame. It's a secret even to me. Damn it. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Surely your still watch can handle Orin. Why do you need me? Well, for the stone. Orin is... elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. But some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. I didn't expect him to be such an interesting character. I must go. Before you do, come and witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Fine, let's get it over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Oh, Distinguished isn't... Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Controlled by a Mind Flayer, this is the old Duke. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. I have an option to attack. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? Evil. I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Prepare to object. Nah, I'm just gonna let the chaos and the. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Ah, so he's alone now. Very good. Let's try and What's speak to the Duke. Discussion? Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his then falls quiet have you come to behold the new dawn by the gods what are they made of the city's great hero what is a hero if not an actor for the greater good Faerun suffers in darkness tears abandoned us helm's eye has strayed but Baldur's gate will soon burn bright a beacon to light the heavens Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that 
true soul is the greatest of goods. Dare me. I'm gonna go sit in his throne. Any who dare speak ill, I am the captain now. Pardon me for saying that, Stu. But do the people require such a heavy hand? The people demand it. Man, being up in the castle like this just looks stunningly cool. Now, I didn't realize how many still guards Goresh has. So I think we definitely need to do the quest to disable the steel watch before we try and take him on. We learned that the steel watchers are being assembled down in the lower dock. We need to come here to the lower city, specifically here on the map where the objective is to disable the steel watch in the southwest right at the Grey Harbor docks. So this is the building we need to enter, but it's surrounded by a fence. And it looks like there's a bit of commotion going on right now. So what's going on here then? There's a little bunch of oil. It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain. You have done quite enough explaining, Bolothamp Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good kind gentle citizens with your lies your delusions your conspiracies though you hide behind a mask of stories we have seen beyond the veil we see what you really are fear monger hear hear attention seeker here, here. This is one guy. Agent gun. of chaos. Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Ah. Let the hells follow. Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer. For today, we rise in truth. Yes. Don't you stand there. Help me, God damn it. Help me. I suppose we should aid him. Though I'd hate to miss the show. No, let's watch the show. Well, go on then. Do whatever it is you're planning to do to him. No. No. Please, no. I take it back. Dear citizens, justice awaits. Yes. No, oh, boy. Please. No. Just these three then. He only had eighteen <coughs> health. Damn, son. He got wrecked. We can go and loot him now, guys. Get that sweet loot. Wow, this is all the stuff he was selling? Volos Erasat's Eye. So many really powerful scrolls here, too. For the attention of Volothamp Gadam. Master Volo, I have been a great fan of your work for many years, most notably your theories on the Bow Spawn and Slayer form. In fact, recently I've unearthed some information that I believe you will find fascinating. Let us meet at the docks and confer one scholar to another. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Right, let's get everyone in sneak. Enter turn-based mode. Our glass can go ahead and cast darkness. No one can see us as we lockpick this. Oh, we got 23, nice. Open door. Now we're just going to go ahead and head through. Go, 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 go quickly, team. No one will notice the open gate. Oh, there's another still watcher here. I want to get on this lift. Oh boy, it's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. No, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so we're in combat. That's not good. Halt, citizen. Submit to inspection. In the name of Lord Enver Gortash. Oh boy. The parasite reels in your skull. Something within the Steel Watcher tugs at your mind. Interesting. I'm a law-abiding citizen and I'm free to go. Wisdom. Nope. Didn't work. Your trial is complete, villain. <laughs> and the sentence is imprisonment. Please comply. Nowhere am I complier. 
attack. Oh god, they are angry. Alright, I'll lash me some big damage. Oh my god, we got a crit. Yes. Another crit, let's go. 50% chance of hitting. Nope. Oh, mate. Maybe a starring can finish it off. 26 damage, come on. Oh my god, it's gonna blow up. All right, let's disengage. I can almost run away from it, but not quite. Let's conjure an elemental of ice and use mud on it. It didn't work. Summon a guardian of faith as well. Okay, I just deleted it. Oh my god, it doesn't care. Wow. They're almost dead. Let's try shocking grass opportunity. And I think we've electrocuted it. Oh, it's weak to lightning as well. Okay, good to know. Can we blind it? Yes, we can. Good. Max lightning damage. Come on. 74. Use guided bolt. 61 damage. Uglush can finish it. Yes. Is it dead? It's got one health. Oh no, it's going to blow up now. Okay, everyone run. Whoa. Help a starring up. Goodness me, that was close. And a starring has leveled up to level 12. All right, let's go ahead and short rest. What do these guys have in them? Infernal iron they're made out of. An enriched infernal iron, which is actually worth money too. Good to know. All right, I want to get on this lift and see where it takes us. The Elder Brain is angry. We need to find a way to disable the Still Watchers. Go up the lift. Hello. Just stay evil. You are asking the impossible. Gyronetics require a steady hand and a sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Stay your hand, I beg you. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes, Overseer Holt. He's frail in body and mind like me, like all of us. Yet by your grace, he lives. And your wife? She is was useless and interfered with production quotas. You were wise to remove her from this world. Forgive my outburst. I will work through the night. This Watcher will be operational by dawn. Damn, who's this lady? I will allow it. But if your work is anything short of impeccable, your son will die screaming. Is that clear? Cool helmet yes. as well. Overseer Holtz. Very cool helmet. Must be on my way. Right, let's go and confront these guys. See if we get any interesting dialogue. Red brother, stand ready. Gondians, so much as twitch, and I'll rip your tongues out myself. You recognize the Overseer's uniform. She's a follower of Bane, the god of tyranny. Love her outfit. I wish to bathe in the blood of these worthless Banites. You can help, Gondians, or you can die. <laughs> we have advantage. 26. Oh my goodness. An interloper? How did you get in here? It matters not. You revealed yourself for nothing. The Gondians wouldn't know a spine if I ripped it from their backs and beat them with it. You're wrong. Even if we beg, even if we humiliate ourselves, it won't matter. You'll kill us all anyway. What was that? I said, we shall bow no more. For the glory of Gond! Oh god, they're all gonna it's die. Okay, she missed everything. Bane's covered in oil. Oh damn! Again, wrecked. 
She only has 30 health left. Surprise! Gail could use Dread Cloud, but I'd hit all of them. Shock her. I can use Flame Pillar and hit these two. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. No! The motivator! Deactivate it! Hurry! Oh, wait, wait, wait. So what do we need to do? We need to destroy the motivator? I think she's the key to this whole thing. So if I let her die, we're kind of screwed. 16 health so she doesn't die. Uglash can get there. I need a 5 or 16. So that would have killed her child, right? Okay, so he's actually got a decent amount of health. <laughs> Why is he running? Oh. Die. You, this is the first time I've saved any gnomes in the game. Usually I just leave them to die. But this time they're actually of use to us. And take this guy out. Oh my god. Nice to star him. Oh yeah, he dead. Wretched thing. Get off the fire. Pull yourself together. Alright, let's speak to her now. Let it be. What have we done? They're <laughs> dead. They're all dead. Yes, killing your captors was the point of this. <laughs> Congratulations! How does it feel to have a spine? Like I'm about to projectile vomit. <laughs> the overseers hold more than our lives hostage. They have our families. But they're all dead. And if they see what we've done, killing me will only be the beginning. God help us. <laughs> There's so much blood to get rid of these bodies right now. You do. Better be One quick about this it. Time. Deal with the bodies. Oh, kill switch protocol. It's useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the real user only has moments to deactivate it before the prison tank charges detonate and the hostages are killed, taking with it our leverage over the Gondian artificers. Threaten convincingly, but never, but never go to full detonation unless the entire foundry falls to our enemies. Details, so long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gondians. But they know that if you are attacked, their loved ones will die. <laughs> However, to prevent accidental massacres, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Don't worry about the Gondians, they'll be too terrified to grab the dropped motivator, and they're too weak and cowardly. The natural prey of a worshipper of Bane. Dude, that is amazing. Okay, we'll leave them to their crying and we will progress further in. I thought they would honestly be more helpful. This is the security office, uh, and we have the key for this, so we can just go inside. Oh, hello. Gondian Xanatuban. And there's a scrying screen. There's also a cargo elevator. What if we call this? No idea what happened. Oh, that elevator's open next door. Interesting. Did you take the elevator? All right, let's get in the elevator and go downstairs. Oh, we're in combat. Still watch foundry lab level. My goodness, this looks like an absolute mess. Let's run a styrene outside. Then we'll use our smoke powder arrow into this guy. We'll hit all three of them. Big damage. Oh, okay, then Misty stepping over. Oh my god, what is that? Let's use an ice storm spell right here. So we can hit all of the guys. And that will turn into water and then we can electrocute everyone. Also take a step back. Right, Shadow Hearts turn next. Right, we'll get Shadow Heart to bless everyone. Bless everyone. Might as well heal Gale as well. Here come all the enemies. There's so many of them down here. 
I don't know why they're all attacking us as well. Okay, he only did six damage. Prince's motivation sequence active. Oh, we need to pick up the motivator. I'm gonna have to misty step onto this with a starion just to stop it from going off. No, no, no. Now we can activate it. And it's off. Phew. That was more stressful than I'd like. That was very close. Uh, and Starion is in grave danger now, unfortunately. Oh boy, the watchers please slip. That nearly ended me. He's literally one hit kill. Sling a fireball at this one guy. Maybe we can help out Starion. Let's cast Shatter. Only did nine damage on him. All right, Uglash can finish off this lady. Execute, yes, get wrecked. And now this person. How did you miss it? Stop running over me. to help Astarian. Ah, oh, good, he's come for me instead. All right, Astarian can disengage, run all the way back here. And we can go ahead and blind this Hellfire Watcher. Which is saved. Oh no, he's just gonna cap Astarian now. Oh no. He missed. We will use level 5 thunder. 64 damage. And he's going to detonate. That's not ideal. I didn't get electrocuted. Oh, still got electrocuted. And this lady. 24 damage. Wow, crit. I think a star is just going to die when that detonates. Wow, he survived. Do it again. Nice. Let's hit this guy now. You're also dead. Let's jump off. So he literally killed himself. Great. All right, let's lay into this guy with some flame damage. Oh no, there's another Hellfire Guardian. Where did it come from? My God, Shadowheart just got deleted. All right, let's go for big shock damage on the Hellfire Watcher. Only 70 damage. Heal ourselves. What? Why do I not get an attack of opportunity? Wow. Please get electrocuted. Wow, that was a uh, buggy, but it worked out in my favor for the first time. Let's reactivate our lightning damage. 20 damage. Can I hit a Starion with heal? I can, thank God. Shoot down this Guardian. Die next turn. Uglash is getting beaten the heck out of. I did one damage. Come on. Finally. Control lever key an infernal mace okay he's still getting electrocuted oh my god he blows up and i'm literally just within range can i stop him blowing up by shooting at him doubt it oh shadowheart died and we will short rest there's so many more enemies here as well all right it's all going to sneak and carry on there's a door here maybe a star ink can unlock i think i have the key for this a brain jar the brain in this jar is aware that its watcher is on duty in the control center, vast and throbbing with illithid telepathy. It ignores your mind touch as a mere distraction. Your tadpole eagerly responds to the parasite in the brain jar. You blink to find yourself standing at Worm's Crossing. You are a steel watcher, a guardian of Baldur's Gate. Before you stands a group of humans. He said he was Flaming Fist. That we had to empty our pockets if we wanted to enter the city. We didn't know it was a scam. We have nothing left and my kids are half starved. Please, let us into the city. We have nowhere else to go. So can we manipulate it to say yes, go into the city, attack the family? <laughs> screams for help as the watcher draws its sword at the last thing you hear oh wow can we do that again the What's brain this in this doing? jar is aware that its watcher is on duty. the watcher this brain controls is offline for maintenance mind is transported you look down your body of pure steel and power whirring a dwarf cowers before you please mr steel watcher sir I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go. Stealing? That is disgusting. Stomp on the dwarf. You raise a mighty leg. What? What are you 
you doing? No! Please! You stomp on the dwarf, bones and intestines splashing on you. <gasps> Dude, this is crazy. How many people can we kill with these? Parasite stirs within the pickled brain, twitching. As your mind connects, you feel yourself become strong, powerful, metal. You are a steel watcher, charging through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. Charge after the child. The child rounds a corner to find a dead end. She turns to face you, tears streaming down her face. She is no more than seven years of age. She cries for her mother as you draw your lance, raising it above your head. You are kicked from the infected brain as the lance comes down. Damn. Dude, this is insane that you can just take control of them from this room. But this here is the control center inside. Hello there. Anyone home? Oh, there's a still watcher right there. There's three of them? Oh, for goodness sake. This is the control panel that I guess I have to turn off. I wonder if I can get to this panel without them seeing me. That's like my only chance of this working. I can't take on three of them at once. There we go. Subtle steps. I wanna hide, 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 hide. Don't don't draw attention. I'm surprised they can't see invisible people, to be honest with you. Alright, let's see if we can. Oh! Neurocitor awaits your input. Intelligence, attempt to decipher the symbols. We got nothing to lose, boys. Here we go. We got an A, my oh dear. You cannot make sense of this complex machine. We're just gonna have to have a go then. Press the button. The machine doesn't respond. Damn it. Now what am I meant to do? This thing is like a machine brain with a lithid brain controlling it. Right, I think what we could try is going back upstairs, speaking to the lady who might be able to help us. If this note ever finds its way to you, it means I'm dead, but at least I died trying. As chief artificer on the Titan project, I know just what that horror can do, and I'm determined to see it destroyed. Xander Tubin mentioned that if the proper code is entered into the Neurociter, it triggers a fatal sonic feedback loop. I don't know what the code is, but I might be able to guess it. And if I die taking down the Titan, that will be a good death. I love you, Lula. How to build a watcher is also described in here. The absolute elder brain sends sonic orders to the jarred brain, and that brain coordinates all the telepathic traffic through its control center. Okay, cool. Let's go back into this room, speak to the lady upstairs and see. If okay, so we came back up the elevator and we're back in this room where Tubin is because apparently he knows how to control these things. of the Lord. What? Your nervous gait betrays your presence, stranger. You don't belong here. Who are you? I'm Uglash. I'm here to take down the still watch. What? Go away. Your presence imperils us all. If any of us attempts to escape, our kin will die. The overseers, they have a contraption. When triggered, it will kill everyone who wears a collar. Hmm. I'll kill all the overseers. Before any of them can press a button in the palm of their hands, you may be quick, but nobody is that quick. I just remove them. You underestimate the enemy. The Overseers, they are Glicksbrand Rakthar. The Collars are not only equipped with explosives, there is also a mechanism that alerts the Overseers if they're removed. One of us may be able to save themselves, but it would be at the expense of everyone else. We can't risk it. You're cowards. Rise up in unison. They can't stop you all. Even if we did somehow unshackle our collars simultaneously and overthrow our oppressors, there would be consequences. Our families are held elsewhere. The overseers need only activate those contraptions they hold, and they suffer the consequences of our actions too. Are you going to help me or not? I know this place better than anyone, better than the Gondians even. I could help you destroy it. 
If I knew our families were safe. No, I'm not doing that. I don't care about that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Do you have any information? This book contains a dizzying array of mathematical equations. Scrolled on the margin is a single line. Only Gon's true name can destroy the Norisiter. All right, let's go and go Z Gale. We can use talk with the dead on Gale. Let's try and speak to him now. See if he wants to tell me now he's dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. How do I destroy the still watch? Go to the Neurositor. In the depths of the foundry, input code Nebulon. Then increase to maximum output. Ah, nice, thank you. Oh, I need to know. Once I input the code Nebulum into the Nord Sighter, what do I do? Run. Oh, okay. Who designed the still watches? I did. To my eternal shame. Your race is weak. All right, now let's go back to Astarian, who's still downstairs. Recall the code to been shared with you. Yeah, yeah, the one he willingly told us about. <laughs> Successfully inputting this will destroy the foundry, wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms. It shall be forgotten. Input the code Neblion and increase the Norositis output to maximum. So we only need a seven to do this, so we literally almost failed there. Warning. System failure. Warning. Whoops. How long do I have to get out? Oh, he's running for it. He's just running past it. <laughs> Shadow Hearts 5. He was just pretending to die. This game is amazing. We saved Shadowheart, boys. We'll take Shadowheart home with us. Massacre beyond imagination. Absolutely everything is completely destroyed. Look at this. Complete destruction. All right, let's go back to camp and resurrect Shadowheart from the dead. Where's Withers? There he is. Oh, there's a, a Another note. letter from Orin. Gortash's metal mannequins will not dance to your tune. They will only dance to his. Set yourself against their still is to invite domination. So, why slice the strings of one when you can cut to sever them all? The blackened heart of their foundry and tear it out. The Lordling will play puppet master no more. Orin. So we already did that. We destroyed the still watcher's foundry as Orin instructed. She seems to enjoy infiltrating our camp and leaving messages for us there. I need to resurrect some. Oh, here she comes. Alright, we gotta refill our spell slots. Let's go to bed. And now we've dealt with the still watchers, we can actually head back to Basilisk Gate's castle. This should make this next boss battle a lot easier because those still watchers are a nightmare to battle. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Look, the still watchers dead. Oh no! They're gonna attack us immediately? How do they know it was me? We destroyed everything in that building. I can't believe I'm attacking a castle right now. Like so. Here comes Fist Larry's. Oh, she's jumping over to Shadow. Sorry, you missed. This will be my castle when I'm done, essentially. Oh, I can use Cloud Kill right at the door. Enjoy. And then Uglash can finish off this thing. Oh, we lose the grit. All right, shoot at the fire and I'm still just try and take it out. It's got four health left. Shadowheart can probably finish this thing. Okay, he's still taking poison damage. Big damage. Can I just push him back into the poison? Oh, <laughs> he just disintegrated. Ah, <laughs> uh, get wrecked. God, this poison does so much damage. This Serik is still just gas. He doesn't know what to do. We'll just take him out with a star in. Get wrecked. Well, we've sorted out these first guards and all the still watchers in the next room are dead. Uh, one sec, before we go in there, let's check if there's any enemies. I can't actually see anyone here. There's just some dead still watchers. How about in this room? Ah, yes, there's loads of enemies in here. Oh my God. They're already, they're surrounding the door, ready to take us on. Okay, I think we'll go into Very this well. room then. Let's see if there is another way upstairs. There's no... We can go into the audience hall here, but we know anything there's tons of enemies up there too. I explore the rest of this area and see if we can find anything useful. Wait, there's a lever here behind the box. 
So it leads outside. Seems a bit pointless. Let's go and explore. See what we can find down here. There's even a beach. With some chests down here as well. But before we do that, I want to actually focus on taking out Gorash, the dead skeleton. Crack in the wall to prison? This takes us into Wyrm Rock Prison. I guess we can break down this wall and get into the actual prison itself. But there's no need for us to go in there right now. I guess that's how we would escape the prison if we did get locked away in there. Look at this view. It's insane. We can go all the way around the outside. Lady Oberon. Who is Lady Oberon? Oberon. That's where I recognize the name. I just don't know where from. She was clearly pushed from a high window up here. We're right underneath the entrance of the city gate. All right, let's climb up here now. Okay, I'm going to have to jump over here, it looks like. Yay. Looks like we can go all the way around the outside of the castle, though. I don't know what purpose this serves. Up and around. This might lead all the way to Gorash's office. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. So this leads us all the way to the Worms Rock Fortress. Now there's a hallway. Ah, so this is his throne room. Did he kill the nobles? What happened in here? <laughs> what are these ships doing? <laughs> the lady, Orm, must have fallen off that balcony there. Oh, wow. Nice trick with the lighting in the stained glass window. Appreciate that. We pretty much explored this whole floor. There's another balcony here. Can we climb up here? Doesn't look like we can. Uglash can definitely jump. Might be able to stack some crates and it's worth it. Where does this go? Up to a roof? I didn't even know this area existed. I think there's enough crates here for us to like stack up and make some kind of makeshift way of getting up here. We need to stack these crates. All right, climb on this scale. And you can jump up here. Oh, Uglash is flying back down to join us clump up here and then we can get up to the top. Okay, so everyone's on this next level now, which is great. Oh, look, you can see the drawbridge is actually up for the castle. Interesting. So, what else do we have? There's a stun trap there. Another stun trap just there. And there's some double doors that open into what must be... How many traps are there, though? So many. And there's a lift system... Oh, could we have taken that all the way back to the top? Okay, so this door is open, but there's another door out here that is locked. I reckon we go through the side door. A surprise. Right, let's separate a Starion, go into sneak mode, and then we'll open... He must be in here, right? 24. Let's open the door. Who's at home? Who's this? More dead still watchers. This is Gortash. This is him. Oh, look, this is the mirror. I think he was standing having his portrait done just here. All right, let's come in here and prepare ourselves. Sneak on inside here. Oh, these look like traps as well. Maybe we should disarm these first, actually. Are there any other traps on the walls? These look like traps too. All right, let's see if Astarian can disarm these traps because I think they might be a bit of a bother for us otherwise. 28, nice. Are you serious? I disarm it and it blows up in my face. Let's disarm the trap. Great. Great. Thank God we disarmed it. How did they not hear that? Right, I'm health potting back to full health. Saving the game. Now, a lot of you guys have been very upset recently because I've not been using the Illithid powers. I've actually been saving them all so I can just delete my brain at, in one go. Nom, 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 nom. Black hole. Create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and slows them. That is so good for preparing, like, big AoE spells. Now, I really want to get Luck of the Far Realms on Starion as well. Because it's just such an incredible ability. So we're going to eat his brain too. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. That sounds good. Eat me. Eat me. Okay, my brain is almost completely eaten now. Are you guys happy? I wonder if there's any dialogue if I just walk right in there and say hello. Not ready. Oh, they're not. We could have been allies, powerful ones. And yet, your actions sparked the fall of my steel watch. Whatever bargain we might have made fell with it. 
He's so disappointed. Don't be rash. We could be good for each other. Good for each other. Don't be. Oh, the brain. The brain awakens. It's time I take matters into my own hands. Hello there. We could have moved mountains. We could have shaken the plains. And you chose imperfection. Oh, no. I think I will hang your corpse in the wide. The Archduke's would-be assassin. The people will celebrate your fall and my part in it. Your bones will be a souvenir of what could have been. Now, roll over and die. Give up your life just as easily as you are ready to give up the stones. Oh my god. This city is mine! Ooh, I'm blinded. And he is buffing his allies too. Where's he running? Oh. Reflection. Oh. oh. Okay, so there's more to this than meets the eye. Any projectile fired at this character is sent back to where it came from. No. Immunity to thunder damage and resistance to elemental damage for one turn. Any projectile fired at this character is sent back to where it came from. Okay. Holy moly, what the hell? I turned into like a mind flare ghost when I use my powers. Dude, that's sick. So before I take his turn, Astarian could take out this guy because he's not actually currently in cover. Oh, we get a crit. Oh my god, just instant kill. No, 23 damage still? Oh, I've got 23 health left. Let's go into sneak mode and walk into this corner of the room. Shadowheart to run in and cast Guardian of Faith just here. Then we can heal Ugla, because why not? Let's try Crown of Madness on this guy. Ah, he saved it. That's annoying. All right, let's see what the enemy do. Using Bane's command on each other. Oh, okay. We do 16 damage. But Shadowheart gets it reflected, I think. This guy's still alive, which is quite annoying. Uh, Aura of Terror. That's frustrating. You chose to suffer. You chose to die. What was that? Oh my god, okay. He's pulling out the big guns, boys. He has no his defenses are down though, so this is good. Oh no, he's just recast it. Great. Oh my god, ball walk. Now if I flash froze a projectile at this guy, he should block it, but Shadowheart should get healed, I believe. It says projectile deflected, but he still got healed. It should have reflected it back at me, but it didn't. Boy, he's sent out to hit. He's on the ground. We'll go for a shot. Yeah, why not? He's dead. Walk over to him. Great weapon master. Big damage. Come on. Missed. Right, Starion can take out this guy. Should be able to do enough damage easily. Now he's invisible. We can actually start to run over to try and take out Lord Gortash. Shadowheart moves here. She could cast Sunbeam and hit both of them. We're about to find out. End turn. Luckily, he missed. I don't know what this is. A concussion grenade? Oh, yeah. Opportunity spell. Let's go. 14 damage and shocked. Where's he going now? He's jumped back into the radius. About to explode. Oh, he's blown it up. What the hell? Dude... Obviously, it's only Gorash left and Astarian's turn it is. So if Gale casts Globe of Immunity on these guys right here. Come on. Oh, he successfully hit. Thank God. Wait, no, he can't move now? Right, if Astarian sneaks over here into the invulnerability, I can use a scroll of Revive Shadowheart. Okay, so she has one health. There's another one now? It's all right. We're not going to take damage from it because we're in the immunity bubble. I can't help Uglash. End my turn. Gale could die now. I thought Astarian died, but luckily, no. Immunity bubble. Why does Gale have no actions? Okay, well, at least we can stand in the immunity bubble. Let's get Astarian to pick up Uglash. But we can also go into sneak mode. 
I think I'll just end my turn there, yeah. Still on my feet. The Arglash's turn. I can just uber heal myself potentially. Oh, it cost me an action. Can I drink a potion? I can drink two of those with my bonus action. Right, Shadowheart also needs to heal herself. She can also have potion. All right, I'm going to bless, bless our team. And I'm just going to jump at him. Rawr. I have a Starian dashes. Can I actually get to him and kill him? Can we hit him? We got 60% chance. Come on, lucky advantage. We miss, even with our luck dice. All right, let's run Shadowheart over. She's Guardian of Faith just behind him. And then we'll just heal ourselves again. Lord Gorash used Dazzling Ray on a Starion. I need an 18 to save. I'm never going to save that. Just one hit kills me and then jumps away. None of my characters get opportunity attacks, but I don't know why. And everyone's blind again. He still has another one turn on his Shell of Resistance. Can you use a Glyph of Warding on him? Because that shouldn't reflect back to me, right? Right? Right, guys? My honor. Yeah, 31 damage. Doesn't reflect on me. Okay, Uglash has a 16% chance to hit it because he's just constantly blinded by this weapon that releases a beam of blinding light. I'm going to run around here. I'm going to use... Oh, no. Why would it drop? Wait, I can just move this? That's a free action. I didn't know you could do that. I It's impossible for me to hit him with a... I use Mind Blast on him. He just saved it. Owl of the Dead? I mean, why not? I've got nothing to lose at this point. I'll just save that as well. All right, so if I go and jump here... And then I should be able to attack him. 72% with disadvantage. That's all I got, man. Wow, such damage. We can use Flame Strike on him. And hopefully we'll get that explosive as well. Oh, we did. But it does, like, no damage to him. <laughs> oh, okay, this one is close. Whoa! Oh my god! What is happening? So we got incinerated. Arglash dies instantly, and so does Astarian. Obviously, Lord Gortash just survives. Like, no damage to him. And I still can't hit him because he's still got a shell of resistance, which lasts for one turn continuously. So now I need Gale to throw something to help up Uglash. All right, there we go. 23 healing. The Uglash can transform. That's probably all we've got going for us to not die again. The spell to resurrect Astarian, who I can't see. So we've got to stand here. And to resurrect over here. And our turn. Okay, so... So Lord Gorash is still not dead, guys. How has he got his... How has it just come back? The Shell of Resistance just constantly... Right, we'll just cast loads of ice around him. Does six damage. Don't fall over. Please don't fall over. Please don't fall over. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Just run over and hit him, I guess. Oh, he fell over. Doesn't really matter. She would, she would have only done, like, five damage to him. And he's got, like, 5,000 health. Oh, okay, Gale's dead. Instantly dead. Don't worry, I did four damage to him. Why is he, like, massive now? Sneaky, sneaky. 14, wow. Does anyone have a scroll? Oh, my God, yes. We'll resurrect him behind this pillar so he can't get hit. Oh no, he just triggered a trap. <laughs> oh, he's going to die, isn't he? The spirit guardian has done more. It was my own fault for spawning him there. But like, I can't... I can't even move my character out of the trap before he dies. I don't know what's happening right now, but I seem to have done lots of damage. Gale's definitely dead, though. What the heck is that? There's a giant hand above Gale. Astarian is fighting for his life on one health, and he's missed everything. Gale is definitely dead right now. What, what is this giant hand on me? I don't know why Gale can't cast a spell right now. I'm going to try and Misty Step out of here. Astarian needs a 16 to hit, and I rolled a 1. Yeah, we use our lucky dice. 
Oh, wow. Uh, I might as well bite him as well. Oh, Lord Gorash needed 18 to hit. He rolled an 18. And I re-rolled it with Lucky Die, and it still didn't matter. Let's bring back a Starion. Let's cast another one of these scrolls over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to revive him in the same place. Now this thing's just going to kill me again before I even get my turn. What I get for double clicking, I guess. All right, Astarian, disengage. You just need to run for it, mate, because you're going to die otherwise. Yep, there you go. Uglash died again. Hey, okay, well, that, that looks fun. The shell of resistance is still on him. Let's throw this stupid thing underneath him. Throw the health potions on Uglash. Okay, he's back again for like oh he's gonna die again though isn't he because the machine will just trigger on him all right we need to move over here with Uglash. okay astarian needs to get out of here so let's go ahead and disengage and then just run out of the explosion zone i'm massively slowed apparently i can still dash with my other ability though so let's just go ahead and get the heck out of here oh boy oh boy that off another trap boys keep forgetting about all these traps you would have thought i'd know by now but i don't right now we can shoot where is it? This little thing here to blow it up on him. Use his own traps against him. 68 thunder damage. And he's on the floor under his own black gauntlet. I still don't know what this spell is. Let's use another mass healing. Generator blaster is about to trigger. Okay, so that punches the ground. This is setting him on fire. It doesn't do any damage to him. Okay, so... Oh, finally, his shield's disappeared. The closed fist of Bane on Astari. He really wants him dead, doesn't he? We're using Sionic Backlash, which is really useful because it's the only thing that's consistently damaging. He uses the shell resistance again. It seems he just permanently has that spell up. Ha <laughs> ha. And now we step back over here. Bane's fist is about to go off. If I can push him back into it, that would be amazing. Am I still blinded? No. Oh my god, for the first time in this whole thing, I have a 55% chance to hit. This is my one chance to kill him. If this misses, it's all over. It hit him. It hit him. Here we go. 55% chance. He's got 62 health, man. Now, if I push him backwards, 70% chance, he will then be in the fist as well. And he's fallen over. Okay, so now he should get hit by that AoE. I'm just going to cast Shield of Faith as well. Then we'll end our turn. Enter. Does zero damage. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Under Gale's skirt, there is another little bomb thing. I just can't see it. There it is. Need to move it over to him. It will do zero damage, but anyway. So blow that up and him. Oh, my God. Wow, that was great. I think we actually did damage to him. Now hide behind the pillar, Gale, and pretend nothing's happened. Okay, Uglash, you have an 80% chance to hit. There's no way you missed these. Level 3 branding smite, 80%. Let's go. Oh my god. Uglash absolutely shattered him. He has the fabricated arbalist, which blinds and dazzling ray, which does 4 to 40 damage and also blinds every creature in its path. Probably the best crossbow in the entire game. And he has Gortash's key. Tons of phase optimizers. Tyrannical jackboots. You gain plus one to charisma checks and saving throws. Cloth of authority. You can't be frightened and can't be afflicted with other emotion altering options. You have advantage on intimidation checks and insight checks. Notes from Hellsick. Lord G. Yes. If necessary, I could get you back into the House of Hope for the right price, of course. Though I doubt they'd be happy to see you again. You didn't exactly leave on the best terms. However, you know your business better than I, or anyone else, H. Devil's Fee. So that is the House of Hope that we want to go to next, I think. Netherstone Studded Gauntlet. A very rare gauntlet that allows you to command people. Take all of that. Wow. Like a great wind through a canyon engulfs your mind, drowns your senses. Above the hell rises a screech, gleeful and maniacal. It is the way and the truth. Absolute. Leave them alone. The screech quiets, the howl fades. Your mind is hollow, save one lone voice. Bane's Chosen has fallen. 
is Netherstone is yours. You have done well. <laughs> I heard the absolute scream. You heard the Elder Brain. Oh yeah. It's regaining its autonomy. It cries not from pain, but exaltation. We must stop it before it breaks free. One nether stone remains. Orins, we must find her and take it from her. Very well. After that, we take control of the brain. And you should start wondering what you will do then. I will become the absolute myself. We shall see. Interesting. It's like yes. he needs to go and help our boy where he dies. Why is Gale dead anyway? What's in this opulent chest What's back inside? here then? Ooh, a scroll of telekinesis and servitor of the black hand gloves. There's another gilded chest over here with hell dusk boots. Accelerated grand design, the key points. As top leaders in the Banite hierarchy, to effectively implement what the mad Alahoon know as the blue apex, named the accelerated grand design, it's important that you understand its broad outlines. Don't worry about the details, leave those to me. The central element of this plan is that our dominated elder brain lays ilfid tadpoles that induce a state of suspended seromorphosis in which the host does not transform into a mind flare. Instead, the tadpoles become psychic minions of the hive for the elder brain, which they perceive as a goddess or a deity of conquest called the absolute. The absolute, however, obeys the commands of the dead free, and, and leaders to say, as Bane, the god of tyranny, our allies who worship Baal and Merkel must in the end defer to us. Ah. Oh, something over there. Deception. Oh, this is where Gortash's key is for. Potion of Supreme Healing, where we used all of those. Shield Steward Interrogation Log. Transcript of key passage in the interrogation of Lavis Nudge, Steward of the Knights and Shield Hall. When did you begin to suspect that Duke Stellamane was not herself? I cleared her dinner dishes after a meal of mutton pie, but when I got the dish up to the kitchen, the mutton was brains. Brains? And not sheep brains, neither. So I started poking around in the elf song cellar, in the knight's secret chamber, yes. I found a cell with a body in it, a corpse in city prison stripes. A dead state prisoner? If I tell you about this, you're gonna let me go, right? Right. It was a condemned criminal with the top of their head shattered and the brain mostly gone. In Stellamane's rooms? The secret part, yes. That's where she found me. She what? Found me. It found me. At first, I thought she was a blur and floating. But then, it was just Stellamane. She smiled. I don't remember anything after that. Ah. In the Elf Song Cellar. And we know that's where the Emperor's Secret Hideout is. And Counting House Vault 5 Key. I think there's a bank in the city because all of the leaders seem to have house keys for the different vaults. All right, let's head outside. Tyrant. Slain. Joy. Freedom. Help me. Help you. Reciprocation. Watchers, ignore you. Foundry. Neutralized. Witnesses, eliminated. You walk free. You won. Dusk. Kill Orin. Kill Orin! Kill Orin! Kill Orin! The Elder Brain's talking to us? He wants us to kill Orin as well. Kortash is no more. And he was kind enough to bequeath his Netherstone to us. We might yet manage to pull this off. Hell yeah. Tyranny offers only two fates for the tyrant. Infamy or ignominy. I'm glad we were able to offer Gortash the latter. <laughs> Very that. There's one more stone in our pockets, which means one step closer to glory. Or however this sort of tale ends, I wouldn't want to presume. Well, I must say that was probably the hardest boss fight we've had in the entire game. That was really a challenging one. And I imagine with the still watchers there as well, would have been ridiculously difficult. But next episode, we need to go to the House of Hope. And we also need to finish off Orin and reach the Bal Cult.
which is going to be very exciting. So I will link that next episode down below in the description. And thank you so much for watching this one. If you want to watch the Starfield live stream, make sure you check out the channel. I'm going to schedule the live stream if you want to watch along. I'll see you there. Goodbye.